Hi, everybody. So, uh, I really should check my email more often. But, you know, I'm busy. I don't really care. You know, checking my email is not the top of my priority list because, you know, usually the stuff that comes in email, none of it's good. So, <laughs> um, the email that uh, they seem to have is myjonesjewelshop at gmail.com, which is great, which is fine. They can email me there anytime they want. So, uh, the most recent email was apparently when I did my small business Saturday uh, video, which honestly has not had a lot of views. Um, how many views has it had? It's had 126 views, okay? I posted it five days ago. But here's the thing. I put their Small Business Saturday thing on the header of the video. And then during the middle of the video, I have their website, and I did some fair use commentary about it. So this falls under fair use in my humble opinion. So um, this stupid C&D letter that just came to me by email. I'm sorry, no, that that's fair use. I can comment on your business practices and I can call out the bullshit and I can make people aware of the fact that if you are a paparazzi customer consultant, I'm always going to say customer because that is in fact what the fuck you are. You are a customer of that company. You are not a consultant. You do not own a small business when you are a consultant of paparazzi. It says so in the policies and procedures manual that it is not a business. Okay? Not even close to being a business. You are an independent customer of paparazzi accessories. Okay, and um, like I said in my protest video, um, I would rather support small entrepreneurs who are crafting their own products and uh, making things with their own two hands and have a passion for what they do, which is why I like uh, buying jewelry from people who make their own jewelry now. Yes, I still get stuff at Walmart when I'm out and I always look and I was like, oh, those are cute. I'll buy those because I know they'll probably fall out of my ears and I'll lose them and then I won't feel so bad because in the last week I've lost four earrings out of this ear because for some reason my hole in this ear is a lot bigger and if I don't have one of those little stoppers behind it, it just falls out. But uh, when you are a paparazzi consultant, you are not a business owner. You are a customer. You are a customer of your upline. You are a customer of the company. Uh, you are you don't you don't own a real business. I found this out the hard way because of all the upfront expenses and costs trying to play business. Okay, and. And I will knock myself down a few pegs. Yeah, I had a website. Yeah, I averaged, you know, 12 to 20 orders a day when I had that website. But I still went balls to the walls crazy every day at 12 noon uh, to look for those new releases to stock my store. And then, of course, uh, during the month of February, when they didn't release a lot of good stuff anyway, so I didn't buy a lot. And they had the double hostess rewards. And, and you got the same four fucking pieces every single month. Yeah, it was frustrating and annoying. Okay? Beyond frustrating. Beyond annoying. So new releases are about to drop for, for today. So that's why I have the website up. So I can do live commentary before things fall out of the back office. Because I love making fun of this shit. <laughs> It's, it's my new, it's my new thing. So this, would you pay $25 for that? No. That looks too freaking heavy. And for anyone who has fibromyalgia or anything with chronic pain, that would be extremely painful to wear. That looks like a bigger version of the Tracy. So let's look at these other Z collections. That's just gaudy awful. Same gaudy awful. I still like it, but I wouldn't pay $25 for it. This one looks like the Donna Lee a little bit, but the Donna Lee was a little bit more fringy. 
they really love these cracked stone things, which are probably full of stuff that, you know, is not good for you. That one looks like something I bought in uh, Hawaii with actual shell. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay $25 for that because I know it's not real turquoise. Too gaudy, too gaudy, way too gaudy. I got that row already. Um, that looks like the dark gunmetal one from a couple years ago, but now it's just pearls and gold. And then, you guys, what is with this black leather shirt that's on every single model? Did they just hire her and have her model everything that day? That, it could be pretty, but it's still too much. So, the, the Z collection I used to think was exclusive and pretty and, you know, gorgeous, but I did notice the Oil Slick Z collection or, or the Iridescent Z collection piece. That's no longer in the back office. That one sold out. Hmm, I wonder where it went. I'm guessing it sold out, and if we look at eBay, it's probably all over eBay kind of like that flower one from a few years ago that they re-released. Ugh, so, so disgusting. So, you know, I've, I've had some, oh, I can't even think about what I want to say and how I want to say it. I mean, I know what I want to say, I just don't know how I'm going to say it. So I may be pausing this video while I think about it, and I'll come back. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so we're unpaused, and they just dropped new releases. So we have Grit, Glitz, and Grind, whatever that is. Triangle piece. Oh, look, another bullet. It's in copper now. Uh, let's see, anything else new? That's new. Crack stone, my favorite stuff. Not new, not new, not new. I still can't stand the difference between these two pictures. It drives me nuts. That's new, but I don't think the necklace itself is new. It's called the Next Nest, and I remember seeing something similar. Spot on Sparkle. That looks like the beachy pieces from a while back with some rhinestones. But that's, you know, okay. Oh, let's see how long this bountiful butterfly lasts that you can get on Nihau Jewelry. Um, oh, look, more stars. It's not a choker this time. It's a short necklace. Anything new in the ring sector? Da -da -da. Oh, these are kind of new, but they're not pretty. Da oh, those are those clip-ons. They are clip-ons. Ooh, pretty. Dun, 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 dun. Those are okay, but they look like that ring, so it's like, let's just take this ring and turn it into some earrings. So you can have a matching set. Not new, not new, not new. Okay, those are not a total new style. It's just a play on something they had. Those are not new. I have those in silver. Let's see. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Da, 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 Look, a book. What is that? A bangle set? It is a bangle set. And I have those bangles actually. So those aren't new either. That's not new. I have those. Still not new. Dun, dun, dun. Seer stone's still there. The one woman. This is going to sell it fast. That's going to be gone really fast because it's got the mermaid stuff. And if it doesn't sell out in the next three minutes, I will be shocked. Anyway, I still can't remember what I was going to talk about, so it might hit me after work. So I'm just going to pause this again, and I'll return with you after my work day. Have a great day. See you in a few. Okay, I'm back. So I remember what I was going to say. Hello, princess. I remember what I was going to say. Um, there's a lot of people right now that are going through and disputing their charges with paparazzi because of the lead and nickel claims. And I'm not doing that for a couple of reasons. Uh, the two main reasons are um, all the accounts that I used to buy paparazzi with are now closed and paid off. And uh, I believe that since it's been almost two years, uh, it will be two years in February. 
uh, when my last purchase with paparazzi was done. Um, I'm SOL, personally. And besides that, um, you know, I got rid of everything and paid off all my debts. I didn't pay myself back, but I did completely pay off all the credit cards that I had uh, debt on when I sold all the jewelry that was in my house. And, um, and I've been slowly paying myself back since then. So, um, that's why I'm not personally disputing my charges uh, against paparazzi. Those of you who are new consultants and, and you know, you have seen that the jewelry is not in fact lead and nickel free and people are asking, people are going to paparazzi corporate and they are asking paparazzi corporate for them to send them their claims. Send me the reports showing that it's lead and nickel free, not compliant, but free. And that seems to be where the hang-up is for a lot of us. When you say something is lead and nickel free, we expect it to be lead and nickel free, not compliant. If it is compliant with the state United States laws, then say that. Say that it's compliant. Say that on your website. Instead, what you put on your website on your About tab is that it's lead and nickel free. You do claim that it's made in China, but like I showed on a previous video on the Wayback Machine, um, they also said it was uh, from an ethically sourced location and that it was held to high standards, but even that's been taken away. So like I said, we're going to continue to watch this claim on their website to see if it's lead and nickel free. Oh, don't mock me, you dick. I love you too. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. No, you're just bobbing your head around like me, and you're being kind of a jerk <laughs> as I hold the puppy and I get ready for work. But yeah, they keep claiming it's lead and nickel free, and my husband's mocking me right now because, you know, that's love. That's my coffee. Don't you dare touch it. All right. <laughs> so the argument is, is uh, pursuing. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, continue to watch the website and see if they ever change the lead free and nickel free um, to lead compliant and nickel compliant um, because their attorneys are really big on this but if you want to be legally compliant with something don't use the words free just saying uh, your verbiage is important and the way you say things is important. This is just my opinion and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video that took me a few days to record. Um, like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye.